Hey there! In today's episode, we're going to look at a mod called Pilot Assistant. This is a very useful mod that provides, among other things, a simple autopilot function for atmospheric flight. Now we all know how tedious it can be to perform long flights around Kerbin, and this mod can definitely take some of the strain off those flights. So before we go have a look at this mod, let's do a quick CCAN install. So with CCAN open, let's have a look for the mod by selecting on Pilot. And there you see Pilot Assistant. Let's go ahead and select that and apply changes. So it's ready for install. Select apply. And there you go. Simple as that. Now let's go have a look at Pilot Assistant in game. All right, so here we are at the Kerbal Space Center. Now, Pilot Assistant doesn't add any parts to the game. What it does is add some in-flight functionality via the toolbar at the top. So let's uh, go into the space plane hangar, get ourselves a plane, and, uh, and launch so we can have a look at Pilot Assistant. All right, so what we want to do is load up a plane that I've already created here offline to make this a little bit quicker. As you can see, pretty simple, straightforward delta wing plane. One engine should be uh, plenty to, uh, to demonstrate this mod, so let's go ahead and launch. All right, so with Valentina at the controls, let's uh, put our brakes on here so we don't roll down the runway while we have our first look at Pilot Assistant. So here in the toolbar you can see the shadowed airplane button. That is obviously the Pilot Assistant button and if you left click that you can get your initial Pilot Assistant menu. Now as you can see there's a number of, of features here and we're not going to look at anything other than Pilot Assistant. When you select that you can see the Pilot Assistant main uh, window now, as I said, there's additional capability here, additional features. We're not going to focus on those today. What I'm going to show you is how to simply use Pilot Assistant to set yourself up with a very straightforward atmospheric autopilot. So it's going to retain your heading, it's going to retain your altitude, and it's going to retain your speed. So with those three things activated, uh, once you're in the, in the flight the way you want to go, you can just turn those on and it's going to stay in that mode, in that flight profile uh, until you deactivate the autopilot or feed it some other some other control inputs. So uh, it's, a, it's a great little tool. It's going to make long flights a lot more bearable and it's going to allow you to go into time acceleration mode without worrying about that old wobble or, or dip that you used to get when you were in atmospheric flight and you went into time acceleration. So let's uh, let's do a quick launch here and get ourselves up to speed. Alright, so as I said earlier, if you left click this, you get the, the submenu. But if you right click it, you go directly into the Pilot Assistant main screen. And so you can see it's broken into the three blocks. Uh, basically, roll and yaw control, which is your directional control, your heading. Vertical control, which can set your uh, vertical speed, and we're going to use it for altitude. And then throttle control, which obviously is uh, is a way to set your target speed. So again, there is other capability within within this menu and within this tool, but we're going to just focus on uh, on a simple atmospheric autopilot, as I said, and uh, show you guys how to do that and take advantage of that here today. So I'm just going to uh, continue here on my ascent. 
maybe what we can do is have a have a simple look at how to set up uh, your altitude so what you want to do let's just say 7500 meters for example you type that in and you say target altitude you can see once you hit target altitude you can see this bar go red that means that that is now activated and we can do the same thing with uh, throttle control you can see we're running around 240 right now if we say 250 and then hit target speed again you saw it automatically adjust the throttle here it's going to it's going to adjust that to get to the speed and then level off as appropriate this uh, this control input has turned red indicating that speed is now an autopilot and we're gonna have a look at heading here in a second I'm just gonna wait till we push through the clouds and you can see as we continue to climb up towards the 7500 meter uh, setting that we've created our one engine is actually struggling to get us to the 250 target speed as we level off here it's accelerating a bit uh, a bit forward again and there we go so now it's backing off a little bit and it'll hold us steady at the 250 meters per second so that's perfect now let's say just uh, for instance we wanted to uh, we wanted to go to go north and uh, on about a 45 degree angle so what we can easily do here is just set this target heading at 45 and say target heading and you can see the roll and yaw control also turned red indicating that the directional control is now under autopilot and the plane is turning and all the while it will work to keep the vertical control and the uh, the throttle control the speed uh, constant to what we've set and once uh, we've come around to the 45 degree target heading uh, you'll see us level off here again and get back into a nice flat smooth uh, flight profile see this uh, this number right here indicates uh, how far off the target that we currently are so as it uh, as it gets very close to 45.0 this is going to go down very close to zero and then we're going to be uh, basically on the heading that we've indicated now the difference here between directional control and heading control is uh, is explained in the tool tip so the directional control maintains a set facing as the vessel travels around a planet flying a straight line long enough and you'll get back to where you started so long as side slip is minimal so in other words the heading is really an absolute compass heading um, it, it's great as it says here in the tooltip for local navigation but over long distances because of the planetary spin and the planetary curve uh, you're not going to be as accurate. So if you create a target heading under directional control, uh, it's going to hold that heading, or you know you can basically circumnavigate Kerbin uh, with this setting. So let's set our heading back to back to 90. Turn us back to the east here. And then once again, level us off as we get into the uh, designated heading direction. Now, the other thing you can do is you can continue to use your normal controls. So, for instance, if, if I was to give some control input here to lower my altitude, uh, watch what the target altitude setting does as I press that control and as long as you key it in it's going to continue to drop that target altitude 
if I were to now pull up it's going to raise it again so you can also adjust your target altitude as well as your speed using the uh, the normal control inputs and as I said you can go into time acceleration and you don't get any wobble here you're not going to have any any issues with the plane suddenly coming out of its uh, out of its flight profile I have literally circumnavigated Kerbin um, with this particular plane uh, on uh, on four times time acceleration so it's a great little tool now the last thing I want to show you guys is if you've been following my series all along and you've and you've uh, installed the the other mods that we've presented in the series you'll have a mod called waypoint manager and you can combine this mod with waypoint manager to a pretty uh, pretty cool effect so let's uh, let's demonstrate that so what I want to do is go to map mode and let's pick a, let's let's just pick a target that we want to fly to here and with waypoint manager you can you can create a custom waypoint and you can say set location on map so this is going to allow us to literally pick visually on the map where we want to go and set a waypoint there so I'm going to click the mouse button to set that waypoint altitude it's going to use the, you know, I mean you can set it for whatever you want but by default it will use the same altitude that we have uh, that we're currently flying at so I don't like that icon let's use uh, uh, let's use this one and let's change the color all right so now we have our new waypoint and if we just make sure in the waypoint manager configuration that heading to target is selected so again under the values to display below altimeter distance and time of course is default and we're gonna turn on heading to target and go back uh, out of out of map mode here sorry I forgot to activate that so if we select that button to, to activate our custom waypoint now we can now we can see that waypoint here but more importantly on the screen we see the heading to the waypoint is 25.6 so if you type in 25.6 target heading she's gonna come around and point right at that waypoint so the combination of those two mods is really cool because you can as we just saw you can visually find where you want to go on the map create a waypoint for that exact location and then use your autopilot to fly directly to that location you're never gonna miss you're never gonna you're never gonna get confused uh, even if you have uh, Eve clouds on like I do here, you're not going to get lost in the clouds. It's going to take you right into that waypoint that you've created, right to that location that you want to go. So again, it's just a nice little additional feature. It's obviously not part of uh, the pilot assistant mod, but using those two mods uh, in conjunction with each other gives you some pretty cool capabilities. And so you can see while I made that turn, uh, the heading uh, moved a little bit. So it's 23.8 versus 25. So we'll just go fine tune that with a 23.7. And there you go. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this episode. Uh, hopefully you can see uh, some good uses for this, uh, this cool little mod, Pilot Assistant. As I've said, it has plenty of additional capability, and if you're interested in that, 
by all means go to the KSP forums and have a look at the the mod thread there there's a lot of great information but uh, even with what we've presented here today with the most straightforward use of uh, atmospheric autopilot I hope it'll come in handy for you and uh, help make your flights around Kerbin a little easier to handle so that's it for today guys fly straight and we'll see you in the next episode take care